You can't always control what's going on outside of your four walls, but home is the one place where you do have some element of control. It's nice to know that your safe place, the home that you live in, is secure. It's just so important to have stability and a place to call home. You know, when, when you're in a hospital for a few months, a couple of years, you yearn for home. When I was in the hospital, I, I like couldn't get better, but when I was at home, that's when I got better. This is Abrielle Scott. She's all into fashion. She likes to accessorize. She's full of energy, full of life. She's a joy, a joy to have. You know, she's going to a little fitness right now, but God willing, she's gonna be okay. I think it's on the 29th that she was diagnosed after all the tests that they ran on her. And um, we found out that it was rhabdomyo sarcoma. We have two children, Molly's 15 and Cody's 7. We moved here for my husband's job. A month after we got here was when Cody got his diagnosis. I was starting a new job, so it was just, you know, amazingly stressful time. What if your child's life is threatened, but also your home and your security is threatened? How scary and frightening and out of control that feels. Being four years old and grasping the fact that your parents We all know families who have gone through some sort of crisis in their lives. Imagine going through that and not having the money to make your payment on your home, your rental apartment. To have that month where we can say, wow, look, we're not falling behind every, every time I turn around. We can actually have a chance to get a toehold here. It means the world for people like us, actually, that live like paycheck to paycheck, pretty much, you know. This is a great industry. It supports all of us, all of our families. And what better way to give back than to help people that have ill children, help them stay in their home, help them stay in their apartment. We started with one hospital in the Washington, D.C. area. Uh, we've grown by hundreds of grant requests. We now have hospitals coast to coast. We have seen a, a, a significant growth, especially in 2015. And because of that, we've been able to help a lot of families. Seeing some of the families that ODF has been able to help really resonated with me. It makes me feel even better that we as a company are able to support ODF. Families report this is probably the best financial support they've had in the community. It's staggering when you're in that situation and you realize there's complete strangers out there who are willing to do so much. We need to make it a part of our lives as members of the organization to continue to support and contribute financially to the foundation. And to look at the number of families that have been positively affected and to see that groundswell of support just makes me proud to be in the industry and really proud to be an MBA member. We've already expanded into new cities and we will continue to do that. That's why it's never been more important for all of you to participate. Helping a family be able to come home it's so powerful and uh, it's been very rewarding for all of us. It's the best thing that we get to do is to feel like we're doing something meaningful by helping somebody that could really use it. Everybody needs help when you're in that situation and every little bit counts. To the MBA members who helped, I'd say 100% thank you. She's a fighter and I know with God with it, she's going to make it too. So far, he's 
in remission and he's back in school and he's just like any other normal little boy. It's nice to hear that he's, he's all good for right now and everything's okay and everyone's at home.